salute the Chinese way. Your Excellencies, uh, Ambassador Amiro, member of the trust, Board of Trustees of Inbai, and Ambassador uh, of Colombia to Hungary, uh, Excellency uh, Christopher uh, Rodan, the Ambassador of Ecuador to Spain, Mr. Director, of course, our host. I'm particularly pleased that we are here today to discuss uh, how we can catalyze bamboo development in Europe. And uh, it's not by accident that you were hosted in this institute which deals with construction and it happens that bamboo is one of the of the, uh, of the major instruments of, of construction so it's not a, uh, by accident that you, we are hosted here so i'm very pleased that we are here and uh, and uh, let me say that of course uh, not many of you do know imba i want to say that imba is an organization which was established in 1997 with the main objective of managing using bamboo and uh, rattan for sustainable development. It started as a network of research, but then uh, uh, nine countries in 1997, under the inspiration of China, decided to establish this as an international organization. And now we have 45 member countries uh, spread across the world, in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, with our headquarters in Beijing. Unfortunately, it's only Canada which is a uh, member coming from developed countries, and there is not a single European country which is a member uh, of INBA, but nevertheless, we think it's important for Europe as well uh, to, 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 to be able to know what INBA is, all, is doing and what uh, you can do uh, to advance the, uh, the cause of, of, of INBA. Uh, our work is uh, uh, supposed to be to, 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 to reduce uh, production, uh, 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 poverty, and hunger aviation and using uh, the sustainable consumption and production of, of, of bamboo. And also, uh, bamboo is an instrument for climate change adaptation and also, uh, also an instrument for protection of the environment. And we've just been to the UN where the question of uh, uh, climate change has been uh, topical and uh, in, uh, uh, INBA has contributed ideas of how we can contribute to uh, 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 climate change mitigation. And let me also say, before I continue, that uh, uh, even if I'm saying uh, Europe is not a member, none, none of the European countries are a member, but we do get support from a number, a very few European countries, including Spain. And that's why we're here in Spain, uh, to, really to, to express our thanks and gratitude for the support that Spain gives to INBA. Uh, and uh, uh, the holding of this symposium here is a reflection of the value we attach to the support of Europe in the cause uh, of INBA. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the, uh, the Spanish Agency for International Development Cooperation has been in the front uh, line to support INBA uh, in this regard. So in this case, in this context, we look forward to strengthen these ties with ISCD and even expanding uh, further our cooperation, and uh, especially in, in trying to implement the SDGs in Latin America. Excellencies and distinguished, you may know that, uh, as I say, among the 45 member countries of INBA, only Canada is a member which is from the developed, and we think it's important for us to get Europe aware, to know what INBA is, all, uh, is, is, is doing and what we can do together. And uh, as I say, bamboo is not only important for the products that can be made uh, for daily livelihood, like home construction, as I mentioned, or furniture and other products that can be traded for poverty alleviation. But bamboo is a very effective tool for environmental protection and climate change mitigation due to its great capacity to absorb carbon, uh, co uh, the process called carbon sequestration. So both environmental degradation and climate change are now issues of global concern as codified in the Paris agreements. Therefore, it is relevant to all countries developed and developing countries, including Europe. That's why we think it's important for Europe to be aware of the use and importance of bamboo. So uh, you don't have to be a major bamboo producing country to be a, a member of INBA because we share, we share the same challenges for a better planet and a better uh, life for mankind, as I said. So we are here today because, as I said, Spain is among a few countries, European, uh, European countries supporting us. And so we think this gathering of like-minded academics, civil society organizations, 
business and private sector practitioners with an enthusiasm and trust in bamboo will go a long way to enhance the awareness of European stakeholders with regard to the relevance and importance of bamboo for sustainable development. In the interest of time, let me just end by saying that I wish this symposium a great success while looking forward to its very important deliberations to assist us to us our shared purpose to decarbonize the planet and ensure a better life for mankind. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you.